it's your turn. You shouldn't feel guilty. It's your turn. It's your time. You've blessed everybody else. You've set everybody else for success. You've compromised you for them, and look where you are. It's time for you. And so for a lot of you, you're not doing nothing because you don't have any purpose right now. You don't have a sense of purpose. You're not waking up for nobody. And I need you to get that engine. I need that drive because you know what to do. You, you're the right person to do it, but you just can't seem to get out of bed. You can't seem to do what you're supposed to do. Every time you come up against a trial or a tribulation, you let it stop. You, you got to find your why, and your why is what's going to start you. And the problem with some of you in this room, you don't have no drive. You ain't got nothing pushing you. You ain't got no reason for waking up in the morning. You ain't got no reason for pushing past that pain. You have no reason. You better find one before you get out of here today. You better go inside. You still looking outside for the stuff that's already inside. You still looking for someone to save you when you already your superhero. You looking for some information from somebody when you already got what you need in your head. It's just time for you to get up and be the best version of you. It's not an option. And the reason why some of you are not where you're supposed to be, you've given yourself an option. You've given yourself an out. You've given yourself an excuse. You've given yourself room not to do it. But you have what it takes. Give me some energy. I can. I, I will. I, I must. I Come on, I can. I can. Come on, I will. I, I must. I can. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. I can means I have the ability to do it. I got what it take. I have the ability to do it. I will. I have the willpower to make it happen. I must. My wife needs me. I must. My son needs me. I must. My daughter needs me. We can, we will, and we must get through this. Let's go. I want to ask you a question, seriously. This is going to be hard because some of you are young and you like still worried about what people think about you so you don't want to be honest in front of people. I want you to think about what level you want. Are you giving 90, 80, 70? Let's see what I'm saying for a minute. Like I gave everything I got. I have no more to give. Like I've really put 120 into this. So raise your hand if you're giving 120. Like I ain't got no more to give, E. E, I'm giving, I'm giving 100, E. I know I got, I'm just doing at least what coach want me to do. I'm doing everything coach want me to do. I'm giving about 90%. Here, yeah, let me be real. I'm giving about 90%. Let me see your hand. Of my effort, let me see your hands. I'm giving about 80%. Let me see your hand. 70%. Let me see your hand. I need you for you to admit where you are. What is it going to take for you to give every single thing you got? What is that going to take? It's consistency. And so I got to go to bed at a certain time. I got to wake up at a certain time. There's certain things I can't eat, certain things I can't watch, certain things I can't do. And I'm talking about that grind. I got an opportunity. You got an opportunity. So here's the deal. When you have an opportunity, why would you give 80% when you have an opportunity? Somebody answer that for me. Y'all talk. Why would you give 80%, 70%? Why wouldn't you always give 120%? This right here, for a lot of y'all, y'all ain't got no discipline, it's killing you. It's killing you. And you don't even realize it's killing you. It's killing you. If you're not giving 120, I'm not mad at you. My job is not to dog you out. Because once we go back out, my goal is to come here and take you to that next level. From today on, you play whatever your best game is, you play that level every single time. It doesn't mean you're going to score every time, but the effort has it. You can always give 120% effort. Life going to go on regardless. Mental toughness. It is in those times we have to be stronger than we've ever been before. Why? Because they need us more than they ever needed us before. I just want to make sure that the life we got left, that is sweeter than the life that if I wasn't focused and I wasn't doing what I was supposed to do. And we're going to make it the best possible. 
It's your life. You got it. What you gonna do with it? I want to ask you a question, seriously. How many of y'all in this room, you like, yo, E, it is my life, but I ain't been in control of it as much as I should be in control of it. And after the day, I'm taking more control of it. Let me see your hand, be honest with me. Come on, let me see your hands. And so you looked up to who when you played ball? Like, who were the people you looked up to? Kobe. 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 LeBron. CP. D-Wade. Kobe. I, I was the same thing with me with Dr. Martin Luther King. In Washington, like all those people, I got a dream. When I saw Malcolm, like boom. And I saw hundreds of black men, boom. Like, let's go. I'm like, like I could do that. And then when I found out I could make money doing it and I could take care of my family, I was like, showtime. Like you only got one shot, E. So hear what I'm saying. Opportunity. You have an opportunity of a lifetime. When you understand you have an opportunity, you, just, you play a little different. Here's what I want to tell you. If you're going to get it, you're going to have to have that dog. You're going to have to have that dog. You're going to have to be that dude that say, I'm not just going with skills. There's a, there's a one type of dude who feel like because he's gifted that it's just an automatic role for him. And let me tell y'all something. You are gifted, but you better humble yourself. You got skill and you got will. Two total different things. You were born with certain things, but to get to the next level, and not just get to the next level, to stay at the next level, you gotta have will when you get to that next level.